What's up, YouTube world? We're uh, we're near the uh, I guess it's called St. John's area of uh, Florida, and um, there's uh, the storm is finally hitting this area. We're we're uh, taking cover in I guess a um, rest stop. And uh, we're just, uh, it's really just raining right now. There's no, you know, they got tornado warnings until 8.15 in the area. Then the storm's going to move um, northwest, I guess, from this location. But it's really a lot of the storms that are coming from the ocean, hitting the... Um, coast the eastern coast like st augustine area flagler area and it's moving west as the uh overall hurricane spins around and around um we're probably 200 some miles north of the storm or the eye of the storm but we're northeast of the uh the storm eye the eye of the storm it's really interesting uh, being in a uh, hurricane, just taking, hunkering down, and uh, realizing that any, anything, I'm telling you, anything can happen. Um, I, I decided not to leave Florida uh, like I did last year. We didn't leave Florida. Um, Sometimes it's not that the storm's weak. Sometimes it's not. Um, I don't know. I, I just decided not to this time. Like last year. Uh, last year wasn't that big of a deal. It was uh, kind of flooded in certain areas. But those are the lowlands. Where I'm at, I'm at a higher altitude or elevation. And. Um, that's all you can really do most of the time. Not everybody wants to spend a thousand dollars and leave town, and um, but I did do a strategy plan. I own a lawn care business. I have lawn care equipment, and I'm being practical about the situation. I know I got um, lawn equipment spread out in four different areas. Some with me. Some on my trailer parked in a designated area, in a fenced and area secure. And uh, some more lawn equipment at the um, tool repair shop. Um, just to give you an idea, I spread it out for a reason. If anything goes wrong and, 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 and if, excuse me, with any of the situations... If it uh, happens where the trailer is, okay, the trailer's gone. But I got other lawn equipment to um, continue to work. You know, you just have to think about stuff. You got to be be prepared. If you're not leaving, how can you continue your livelihood after the storm comes and goes? And I'm here. I'm gonna make the best of it and. Um, just watching it rain, watch it rain, watch it rain. And it's been really interesting. It's just uh, raining. And it, it stopped a few times today. Um, I had some yards to go mow, but obviously it's just not safe to cross some of the bridges that it's going to take to uh, get to the lowlands and uh, mow those yards. Um, so I'm... Staying put until probably probably Monday night, and I, I'm gonna start mowing yards again uh, Tuesday morning. And uh, we're we're gonna move on. We're gonna get a lot of calls. People are gonna say yard cleanup, yard cleanup, yard cleanup. Can you do this? Can you do that? And um, I only have certain things under my insurance that will allow me to do certain uh, cleanups. And I'm not going to do anything but what the insurance allows me to do. 
Um, I could always add uh, those additional coverages at a additional premium. Um, but it's not going to be worth the uh, extra money in a short period of time. Uh, so I will mainly do light to small cleanups. Uh, the counties will pick up a lot of the loose debris, uh, like uh, tree limbs and all that. That's typically free of charge. They usually do, uh, I think, two rounds of pickup. So the first round is probably not this week, but next week. And the second round is probably uh, two weeks after that. Um, you're going to see a lot of um, landscaping crews out and about uh, with their somewhat bigger equipment, but not overly large size equipment. You're going to see companies like Russell uh, Tree Removal. They, they do clear cutting. They, they do huge areas. They got machinery to come in and clear hundreds of acres at a time. They got, uh, they can probably do a convoy of 20 to 50 trucks. I mean, that's a huge operation. That's a probably, if it would be my guess, they're probably a billion dollar company. If not hundreds of millions of dollars operation. Russell, uh, tree removal uh, company. Um, they got the big trucks, they got the big cranes, they got the big equipment. It's fun to watch everybody do their part. Uh, I'm a small company and I'm not even a million dollar company, but I'm I'm a tiny company. We, we do our best to mow the yards, make everything look good, do the landscaping. Um, we're not in hardscape yet, but that might be someday. More and more, I see uh, million dollar companies at first, I thought I could run my company into a million dollar company without having uh, like the construction side of landscaping. But I don't know. Um, in my area, I think I'm going to have to add the construction side, be a construction company in one division, landscaping in another, and uh, lawn care in another. And once I build my uh, uh, landscaping and construction business to a certain uh, development, obviously I'm not doing this right now. But it, it's gonna it's gonna be some time. It's gonna it's gonna be down the road. It's gonna be uh, something I want to do. Um, so in closing, if you like. Uh, you like hearing about the storm uh, we're gonna do more uh, storm reports and I'm gonna figure out some way to upload this hopefully uh, tonight so people can sit there and listen and wonder wow that sounds really interesting uh, like and subscribe and uh, share and let's get to a thousand subs thanks again Waiting his turn over there.